Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day so far. Today, we've got a new package, and by the title, you already know, it is the T-Bone Racing Roll Cage for the larger Creighton 8S. Uh, mine, of course, is the EXB, but I wanted something that would better protect the body. Um, and even though these don't look that great, it makes the truck kind of look uh, a little weird. I still wanted something um, to protect the body because, let me show you the body real quick. One, I know the roof rails are meant to protect the body, which they've done a good job of that so far. But what it's not doing is protecting these clips. Um, this one has been rubbed and the uh, little rubber piece has broken off of this one here. And then this clip back here actually snapped. So, you know, during wrecks and such, those are getting caught and rubbing against the ground. It doesn't take much for those to break. So, we're going to be installing this roll cage onto this body. Now, usually, these don't come nearly fully assembled like this is. But, luckily, this one is, looks like it's going to be pretty simple to put together. So, let's go ahead and get it opened up. Got some stickers. That's awesome. We got two screws that popped out, this whole cage, and then looks like we've got some spacers and some screws through here and here. So it looks to me like these two holes here are going to line up with these two. That may be what these two longer screws are for. So we'll take a look underneath here and see what that looks like. And then we may have to drill some holes for, well, we will have to drill some holes for where it connects back here and where it connects up here. But we're gonna get the middle secured in place, make sure that's in a good spot before we actually drill those holes. We don't wanna do that first and then that not line up. So let me go ahead and take these two screws out. I'm gonna remove this spacer or both of these spacers up front, this nut and that screw. Same thing back here. I'm gonna remove that. Um, this piece which goes underneath the body, this actually will keep it from those screws pulling through. Um, it looks like this is actually going to go on top of the body, this underneath, again here, this this bottom piece underneath the body, this one on top, and it's like a hard rubber. That will keep it from, of course, damaging the body there. Now, it doesn't cover every inch. You don't really want it to, but look what it does cover. See where the clips are going to be connected? We'll have to... Uh, look back here here's something interesting so if this is lined up here where these back pieces are might be a little bit tougher getting those clips in and out but if it's going to protect the body i'm willing to make that minor sacrifice all right i've taken these two top screws out and put in the two longer ones and now i'm screwing that on once i get this on i'll be able to see exactly where those need to be drilled all right, so it looks like this is going to flex just a little bit in order for the front to go down and as you guys can see the rear is actually really really flush already so i'm going to do the rear first now that this middle piece is tightened down and then i'll do the front last so this back side is finished um like i said we just held the hole in place drilled it out i started off with a pilot hole the smallest one uh, 1 16th and then moved up to a 7 64th uh, drill bit and that worked out perfect held the screw in from the top and held the nut from underneath like this of course you can see that plate there and while holding that I was actually screwing it, screwing it in from up here and that worked out great now, for the front it's gonna be a little bit different um, we have to make sure that we're not pushing this down too far um, because then we won't get properly aligned with this rubber spacer in there. And then we also have to make sure that the thicker side, because if you rotate this around, there's, a, there's a, like a thinner side of this rubber piece and a thicker side. The thicker side is going to go towards the front because that will keep that hole more straight up and down. So we'll put those in place. We'll lower this down, make sure that it looks good. Then we'll go ahead and drill our hole. So from here, we can go ahead and just remove these and we know where our hole is. 
swap out the bit. Now we can throw the rest of that hole out. And we'll finish tightening it down. All right, you guys, so with that, it is finished. Um, I tightened down one side or the other to make this bar pretty much um, flat all the way across the match, you know, parallel to the grill. But listen, I know this is kind of a polarizing thing. Some people think it looks awesome. It's got some extra body armor. Some people think it looks terrible. Me, I think it looks good. It's not the best. It definitely looks better without it, right? If you just, you know, basing it pure, uh, purely on looks of the body itself, it looks better without it. But I know that the body is going to last a lot longer like this. And these clips, like I said, I only ran it a couple of times before these started falling off. This, as you can see, will perfectly cover this part and this clip. And I like to bend these up so that they're easier to grab. This completely blocks that from scraping against the ground. So this will get a beating. This will survive, or at least the clips will. And that's it. So let me go ahead and put this on the truck so you guys can see what the truck looks like overall with this roll cage on. I think some people really like the look. Me looking at it. I think it's pretty cool. Looks like it's ready for war. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below and I'll leave a link to this roll cage down in the description. So check them out. It's tboneracing.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.